Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video I hope to transfer this mothership over to Joule and then do some science in various probing and drilling and all that sort of business. And we are at the transfer window. Well, roughly speaking, the first time I went around and tried to line up with Joule properly, I overshot because I also have to make sure that Minmus is on the right side of its orbit. Otherwise we will have an inefficient situation escaping the Kerbin system, not that bad. It'll probably be like about 400 meters per second, but um, so normally you want Joule at 96 degrees or so. We're a little bit past that, but the reason being that if I try and wait any longer, Minmus is going to probably be on the in the wrong place for ejection. Also, while I was time warping, I accidentally had the fuel cells left on, so we lost some oxidizer like that. Uh, those the oxidizer is only used for the fuel cells, so uh, I think we'll just be able to drill and make up that amount. So I think we're okay to go. So I'm going to plot out of Minmus now, uh, but we're not getting Kerbin's Oberth effect, so we're actually using more this way. This is not what I intended. Seems like a lot. The amount it takes to get back down to low carbon, well, at least having one end at low carbon orbit um, would basically mean that we still spend the same amount. So it seems like it doesn't really matter. Fortunately, it seems like it's reading the delta V on this stage properly now. It says 4,860. I hope that's right. And that tracks with what I was expecting it to be. Okay, well, it looks like we'll need a mid-course adjustment, and this is going to cost a bundle, but uh, we'll go with it for now. At least we'll get there, I think. Okay, time for step one, exiting Minmus SOI. Oh, we are not controlling from the right thing, are we? Great. Bye-bye to Minmus, our little training ground. We're a little bit late, but I don't think that's going to change a whole lot. Well, so far the Delta V is tracking and everything, so maybe we're in good shape. Okay, well, we are now just using the fuel in here. Uh, but I think it's because, yeah, these aren't transferring through is all. So, hold on a sec. That's why we had bad numbers. There we go again. Of course, this tank was locked. Was this tank locked as well? No, this one wasn't, though. Okay, well, that's probably going to be quite a bit off. Let me unlock this tank. I don't know if that'll help with the crossfeed or not. Maybe because that tank was locked, it wasn't crossfeeding the other tanks in. Yeah, the docking ports here have crossfeed enable, enabled. Okay, anyway, well, we made the burn. And we have an encounter, so we just need to do a mid-course adjustment. So, can we hit Tylo in such a way that helps us get into orbit? Mm, well, Tylo doesn't seem to be automatically in time with us. Let's give a brief Leif check. Leif can do it. Leif can do it and we can drop off that little Leif probe too, the one with the heat shield. Kirstead, Megan, and Flong are on their way to Jewel. Oh, let's see. We've time warped quite a long time. Uh, we've got 500 science. Let's transmit the science. We, we're getting electric charge. Transmit science. We're full up on science anyway. Okay, we got that 500 science and we're still getting 17 science per day. So no problems. We are still churning the science just from Minmus. Uh, uh, oh, it is pulling from this tank now. Not apparently from this one. But this one has a higher fuel priority, so... Alright. Maybe, yeah, locking that tank was the problem. 
especially since it had a higher fuel, fuel priority than these up here. Okay, that's 0.0, .0 there. Do we have a nice encounter with Lathe? It seems that way. It's a little bit high, but... Well, let's see, maybe we can RCS this a little bit. Oh, oh, wrong way, wrong way. Yep. 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 Okay, uh, that's good enough RCS right there. 160 kilometer periapsis around Lathe. Gives us something like that. Might be able to finagle something with Val afterwards. And of course we want to get to the, the bops and the pauls to do some drilling. And science. Okay, continuing on our way, we've got a long time warp ahead of us. You know, 17 science per day is quite a lot, I mean, when we last reported, and now we're at 500 science again. Well, I, I'll transmit, but at least we'll be completely clear of data by the time we get to Jewel, I suppose. So, transmit science. Whether we'll need any more science, considering where we are in a tech tree, that's a good question. So we're down to 13 science per day, so that means that within 40 days we're going to have a full pack of science again to transmit. So we'll just have to go with that. And of course these are 24 hour days, not 6 hour days. So keep that in mind. If it seems like it's rather quick compared to your stock playthrough, it's because I continue to use 24 hour days anyway. Okay, yep, next transmission. Now down to 8.6 signs per day. Still, we'll probably have another transmission before we get to Jewel. Oh, sorry. I just found out that I was not recording while doing some of the science. So we just entered Jewel SOI. And I was not recording. Uh, so I did the Science Junior, the Goo, and we're not just in Jewel SOI. Time warped to uh, this level that you see here right now. And we were about to do an EVA report. And... Maybe if we keep them bored, we can still put that in. Yeah, we can put that in. So I'm just adding science, but we can't actually run the science yet because uh, we don't have enough solar panel re to run the science lab right now, it looks like, from this distance. So if we start research, we have a drain of three units. So we'll have to use the fuel cells to do the science. And that means tanking up an oxidizer from somewhere. So, that is not what we're going to do right now. Right now we're going to en uh, enter Lathe SOI and get captured by Lathe's gravity. I mean, into Joule orbit. Though maybe we want to hang out at Lathe for a little bit. I'm going to deploy at least the atmospheric probe with the heat shield into Leif's atmosphere. Uh, dump that in. Might have been, might be good to send it into Joule atmosphere though. Complicated question that. So the one with the heat shield, this one has a heat shield. It's got uh, its own relay antenna and that's because that won't break off in the atmosphere. Okay, off it goes. How are the solar panels going to do? Not quite good enough, so we want to get the hibernating warp set. Hopefully that'll help. Okay, and with that, we're going to want to get into the atmosphere of Leif a little bit more. There will be a plasma blackout period. There is a parachute there. I'll arm it before we do get into the atmosphere. It occurs to me the electric charge might not be sufficient. We're hoping to hit a different biome than we've been at before, but that's a little bit hard to plan. 20 kilometers might be too deep, I don't know. We'll leave it. Okay, parachute. And on the dish, I'll say allow partial because of the electric charge. 
as far as the main mission is concerned, it's just going to swing by and help us transmit. Oh, nighttime side. That's not helpful. Okay, here we go. How intense is this going to be? Doesn't seem very fast. Oh, it happens quickly though. Very high g-forces. Okay, we have comms. Let's see. Temperature. Uh, let's go ahead and transmit. Oh, oh, that's close. And we'll log again and... Well, we, uh, we can't actually do anything about it at the science lab, so transmit was the best we could do. But if we want to do the gravity scan at any point, we're, or any other science now, we are going to need to get into daylight. And hopefully the dish will have enough range to still communicate with the mothership by the time we get to daylight. Seems like water, which is more than likely the case at Lathe. We are at a safe speed or a presumed splashdown. We aren't going to have any power at presumed splashdown. But that won't affect the parachute. Okay. Um, hopefully it floats. <laughs> That's important. Seems to be just under the surface. I don't know why. It, oh, that that's because the ocean floor is one thousand six hundred below. Mothership doesn't seem to be encountering anything dangerous, like a moon. So that'll be okay. We have comms now. Oh, lost it. But we have power. Okay, let's see. We have some power. We're under the surface. I don't know how good antennas work under the water, but... Okay, from the Sagan Sea. So I assume they wanted that spelled differently, but I'm not sure. Okay, well, it's going to take too much power, so we have to wait. We are losing... Oh, there's a Jewel Eclipse. Let's see. At least below the water we still get electric charge. Oh, and... Now we're not getting electric charge. The heat shield is sort of in the way. I wonder if RCS can orient. Okay, SAS on. That takes power though. But net net we're recharging, okay. Okay, now we are fully recharged, or almost. And let's at least get the temperature scan. Oh, uh, it's already there anyway. Okay, transmit. Uh, okay, well, it's done. Okay. I was worried that it wouldn't quite get done. The gravity scan is going to be a bigger deal, though. And we're going over to, into the nighttime side. I'll leave it be. Maybe we'll get a contract to do some science on the surface of lathe or something. We don't have one right now. All right, back to the mothership. Actually, with our 2000 science now, uh, let's go to the tech tree and see whether we need any more. Uh, we'll still do the science and everything, but it'll be interesting to see whether we've completed the tech tree or not at this point, I think. Let's see. Uh, not yet, it looks like. So we can get advanced motors. I'll hold off on advanced motors. We'll just get these 2000 ones and then we'll need 550 basically. Yeah. Uh, let's see. That. Uh, that. Uh, about 400 more will do the trick. Otherwise, we are all good. So, all right, continuing. 
Okay, back to work here. My plan is to try and get some signs from each of the moons. Of course, with Tylo, we're gonna get in-orbit signs. We're not gonna try and land anything there. But with Val, maybe one of our science drones can handle it. Of course, they're all configured with RCS, so it's not easy. Uh, let me check whether we've done scanning around Val for four. We can deploy the scanner probe around it. That seems fruitful. I've already got a plot for uh, transfer there. No, no resource data is available. So we'll want that scanner probe to get into a polar orbit. We're not going to be very polar here, but uh, maybe once we enter Val SOI or subsequent to that, we can use it to make an adjustment. It's got its own fuel after all. Hopefully it's not going to take too much. It's just a pile of RCS, so... We'll see. Anyway, so hopefully we can land one of these guys on the surface. But I'm not sure. And we're not looking for a huge amount of science. We just want enough science to fill up the lab. And then we can start it up once we get to somewhere we can drill. And then after that, 400 science should be a breeze, I think. Probably need to pump some more of the fuel into these tanks. Maybe it doesn't matter anymore, now that that tank got unlocked. Oh, looks like we might need to transfer some more fuel after all. Yep, it didn't crossfeed those. I thought it was going to. So, it wasn't locking the tank that caused the problem in the first place. That should be good for Val. And by Val, I mean the moon. We do not have Valentina present at the moment. Okay, well, let's see if we can pop up the scanner probe and do a correction with it. It appears to have comms, which is good, because it doesn't have a huge... comm dish. Hopefully... Oh, you know what? It might not have enough comms. It, it, it might be that it can't transmit the science because the internal comms of the probe core might not be able to do that. Anyway, we'll give it a go. So first we need to change inclination. Okay, we'll try that. Is that going to hit the mothership? No. Oh, is this the right way? I guess this is the right way. Okay. We're going backwards. And after this, the question is whether we have enough propellant to capture. It can still be brought back for refueling if it makes orbit, of course. There is a claw tug, if necessary. Okay, that looks like a fine scanning orbit to me. Well, the beginnings of one. Let's make sure this is on hibernate and warp. Okay, but both things need to capture into orbit. Um, mothership almost but looks like it's already in orbit, but it's not. I think we get to do this one first. And what's the height limit on this? 1,500 kilometers. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's see. Perform orbital survey. No usable in-range comm devices on this vessel. Well, there are, there are ways of fixing that, but we won't do that just yet. We can dock one of the other probes to it. And some of those have uh, proper dishes. But let's just get this into orbit first. So one of those could dock to it and provide comms, though it's going to be inconvenient to change the inclination from this one to that one. Okay, we've captured in a high orbit. Maybe we should leave it at that for one of the probes to go out and change inclination and rendezvous with that thing. So, I forget if there's any difference between this one and this one. I think those two are identical. Okay, the mothership can wait for now. 400 meters per second. Well, tough to say. 
And then we have to do 50 right here. But ultimately, it's going to have to be something like that. Okay, we'll try that encounter there. Alright, burn number one. Oh, we lost comms. Well, that's the one good thing about RCS. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a little bit off. Yeah. Okay, a minor change up there will help us correct for the blackout. Judging from that first burn, it looks like we'll have enough to do this. Okay, target. Opposite. Well, let's give it a go. But yeah, a little bit late. Okay, a lot late. A lot late. <laughs> Uh, we're pretty far away from it now. Maybe we should just go with that much and then correct once we get to it. Okay, let's start slowing down again. Okay, now this should end up with the comms it needs, hopefully. And... Magnetism. Alright. Now can we do the orbital survey? Yes, we can. Uh, it's taking a lot of electric charge. Ah, aborting transmission. And we have to time warp to replenish power. Okay. All the dishes should be on allow partial. I think that's the important one in this case. I'll get more electric charge. Now, can we do it? Okay, it's doing the staggered thing. Don't know how well that'll work out for an orbital survey. I don't know, we've already made a few orbits, but then again, it's not exactly going to be recharging very quickly. Oh, it says it's done. 80 science added, uploaded data. Well, the proof is in the scan pudding. Let's see. Oh, we've got the ore data, yep. So we completed the scan successfully. Now, how much would it take to land? I don't think, I don't know, I don't think this has enough to land, but... Oh, right, we, we might want to bring this back because there is no scanner on the mothership. Right. So why don't we just bring both of these back into the mothership? Can we do that? Okay, well, with about 400 meters per second, maybe we can do it. Do we have that? That's, uh, if we dump the non-scanner probe, maybe. I think let's leave this be for now. Let's go back to the mothership and deploy the other one of this type of probe and see whether it can land on the surface. Uh, we can do the Science Junior, too. Let's um, conduct a material study. Let's get that in the lab. nearly topped off, so we'll have gotten plenty of signs from Val already. Let's reset that. I wonder if the goo would be good. We could transmit the science too. Alright, let's put that in the lab. And yeah, let's observe again and then transmit. Oh, the magnetometer, I keep forgetting, but the magnetometer will bump into that, and that's a dangerous situation, so we'll leave that be. Gravity data can go into the lab. Oh, lab is full of data. Alright, so we've gotten enough. Let's try and deploy the probe and see. Maybe we should get into a lower orbit first, though. This will make w more work for the probe to do. And if we bring our orbit down, it'll be easier for it. But then, we got to take more delta V to break orbit, and also for the other thing to rendezvous. It's pretty fast. I don't think, given the speed of our orbit down here, I don't think the probe can do it. 0.23 Gs, yeah, and I said even the ISRU lander can only handle moon levels, so this is beyond that. Okay, so yeah, maybe we can get the other probes back in here. I think the best deal would be if we get the scanner probe back. The relay satellite can just stay here and act as a relay satellite. Undock. Right. Oh, the plot was with the other probe. 
Okay, well here goes nothing. No idea if this is gonna be enough. Okay, this is going to be a longer burn. And as usual, it's not really showing me... Oh, there we go. Once I come out of time warp, it does. Okay, it looks like we can make it here. Okay, we are in render range of the mothership. Oh, don't go too fast. Okay, slow down. I think we'll... I think it's best to dock on that one. To give the antenna room. Mm, I don't want to block that probe, though. Okay, we are docked. Uh, might be safer to tilt this a bit. <laughs> Thankfully, we're not pr planning to bring this into any at the mothership into any atmospheres. So, okay, uh, that might be a little bit helpful to that probe if it wants to pop out. But we'll probably pack this up first. Okay, so we retrieved that scanner probe so we can use it for a different body. And let's top off its tanks just ahead of time. That's why we brought this extra RCS fuel after all. And yeah, if we start the... Oh, I can clean the experiments again. If we start the research, we still consume too much electric charge. So we will have to wait until Bopper Paul where we can scan and that, well, Bop, uh, no, Paul is the one that we've already scanned and started drilling around. Uh, Bop, I don't think we have, if I recall correctly. But as long as we can drill for oxidizer, we can run the fuel cell and then do the research. And that will be how we get the rest of it. But the rest of it, as far as completing the tech tree is concerned, is basically just 90 to 100 science. We've got 300 now and we needed 400. So we're pretty close to completing the tech tree. Just a few more things, but for now I'll leave this hanging around Val, and then next time we will not do that node, and we will transfer to Tylo maybe? We'll see, we'll see. Maybe we should go straight to Bopper Paul, but I did want to get some signs from each of the places. So I'll think about that next time. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.